the Prophet peace be upon him, history and hadith tells us that even prayed for the staunchest enemy of Islam. And this is mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi, volume number 6, Hadith number 3681, that the Prophet prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, O oh Allah, give guidance at least to one of the two staunchest enemies of Islam, the two Umarain, that is Abu Jahl or Umar bin Khattab. The Prophet prayed to, to God that among the two staunchest enemy, at least give hidayah, give guidance to one of these two enemies, both the names was Umar, one was Abu Jahl, his nickname, and the, other, and the other was Umar bin Khattab, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave guidance to Hazrat Umar bin Khattab, who later on became the second caliph of Islam. It is further mentioned in the hadith of Sahih Muslim, volume number five, hadith number 4589, which is also mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 4372, that once the Sahabas, they capture a person by the name of Sumama from Yamama. And this person, he had killed several Muslims. He had butchered and killed several Muslims. So they arrest him and they get him to the Prophet. And when they get him to the Prophet, the Prophet says, that what should be done to you, O Umama? So Umama replies that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. But if you free me, and if you want ransom, I can give you all the wealth. And if you forgive me, you will, be you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful to you. So the Prophet gives him milk. And he drinks the milk. And after drinking, he licks his, his lips. That means he wasn't fully quenched his desire. So the Prophet tells the Sahabas to give one more ball of milk. Again, he licks his lip after drinking. Then the third, then the fourth. After the seventh ball of milk, he does not lick his lip, the Prophet says, take him away. The next day when he comes, again Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asks him the same, same question. Oh Amama, what should be done with you? Again, Umama, he repeated the same answer. That if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I killed many Muslims. And if you want dance him, I can give you all my wealth. And if you forgive me and free me, you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful. Again, the Prophet gives him milk. He drinks it. He licks his lip. The second ball, the third ball, the seventh ball. After the seventh ball, he does not lick his lip. And the Prophet says, take him away. The third day when Sumama comes, again the Prophet asks him that, what do you have to say? What should be done with you? So he says, and he repeats the same answer, that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. If you want ransom, I can give you my wealth. If you forgive me, you'll be forgiving a person who's grateful. And the Prophet then, he sets him free. And all the Sahabas are shocked that how could the Prophet set free an enemy who has killed so many Muslims? And they were shocked at the decision of the Prophet. So Mama goes towards the date Prampi, and then he washes himself. And later on, he comes back to the Prophet, and then he says the Shahada, that there is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Then he says that before, the worst, most hated faith of any human being in this world was the faith of Muhammad. And today, the most beloved, the most loved, the most liked faith in the full world of any, of any human being, it is the faith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sumama says that before the religion which I hated the most, which I disliked the most, was the religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Islam. And today, the religion I like the most, the religion I love the most, 
is the religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that is Islam. Before, the city I hated the most, the city I disliked the most, was the city of Medina, that the city of the Prophet. Today, the city I love the most, the city I like the most, is the city of the Prophet, that is the city of Medina. He said, the last three days that I stayed here, I could not believe my eyes seeing the companions of the Prophet, like Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Abu Bakr, all these, and the way they loved each other, and the way they respected the Prophet, and the way they obeyed the Prophet. He said he has not seen in his full life any human being loved and respect as much as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said, in my place, if someone gave the call for prayer in the morning and disturbed me, I would have killed the person. Here, there's a black man, Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. He gives a call in the morning and he wakes up the people. And then he, the black man, is straightening the row for the prayer, irrespective of whether the person is white, whether he's an Arab, whether he's a non-Arab. Imagine a black man touching all the human beings and the humanity between all the human beings has really shocked me. So here from the Hadith we come to know that because the Prophet was so merciful, even the companion were merciful and kind. And this shocked the enemy of Islam and they changed their hearts. And when the Prophet went to deliver the message of Islam to the people of Taif, they harassed him and they did not listen to the message. They did not, they did not obey the Prophet. And some of the narrations say that they even stoned him. It was the worst day of his life. Then when the Prophet was sitting his head down in sun, suddenly he finds a shade of cloud over his head, a shade of silver cloud. And when he looks up, he sees the Archangel Gabriel. 